Hey, hey, people, Ian here with the latest gaming news. Um, I've been a bit sick recently, so I haven't been able to do as much gaming news as I should have been doing, but I'm feeling better now, so um, it's time to get back into it. So we're going to kick things off with um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, which comes out next month. Um, this is, uh, it's worth noting that this isn't a return to 1998's Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit or its 2002 sequel, but it's a remaster of the 2010 remake. So you go back to Seacrest County, there are high-speed chases and asynchronous competition and it has full crossplay. It's basically the cops and robbers theme that we all love. Um, it launches with every piece of Hot Pursuit DLC content that was locked out of the original game's PC release. Cross-platform multiplayer has also been introduced and the whole thing is given a bit of a facelift with um, improved graphics, etc. as you would expect. Um, it's not the most amazing visual changes, but um, it'll run at 4K 60fps with higher resolution textures and shadows, longer draw distances and busier environments. Um, it also boasts some small new features including car colours, achievements, improvements to the photo mode and gallery. Um, a lot of people were already aware that this is coming out, but it's good to get confirmation of the details. Next up there is a mod for Diablo 2 called Leoric's Castle which turns uh, the game into a competitive boss rush. Um, the devs have said that it's p described it as part speedrun, part PvP take on Diablo 2. Um, it's playable in free-for-all, duos or in teams of four. Rival players can hack their way through a progression of dungeons, building characters with upgrades and gear purchased at goblin shops all while fending off monsters and fellow adventurers. Um, it's set between Diablo 1 and 2 and the devs say that there is just as much PvE as there is PvP and that it won't be as hard to get into as it sounds like. A word of warning though, there are some people who have been playing Diablo 2 for a very long time so Next up, Cyberpunk's 2077. Several physical goods from box copies of Cyberpunk 2077 have made their way online. The pics um, show a map which gives us our first proper look at a complete view of Night City and puts the various districts and surrounding regions together. Uh, space is also given over to wilderness should you need a break from the city life. And it's going to be a very vertical map obviously because the map is quite small in terms of uh, surface area. Cyberpunk 2077 is releasing in just over a month, releases on Steam and GOG this November 19th. Next up, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Beta will introduce a ping system and a console FOV slider. Uh, the PS4 exclusive beta weekend started on October the 8th. A new feature that they introduced is a ping system, which uh, basically is quite similar to the ping system in Apex Legends. Uh, it's a way of pointing out important points of interest on the map and indicating to other players where things such as enemies and loose are and it's a good way to communicate without needing to use voice chat. Um, they also introduced a field of view slider which lets you adjust the sit settings for how wide or narrow your view is and although you might face frame rate or graphical issues by increasing the width too much because the console has to render more, you can recreate the settings available to PC players so it's good for crossplay. It's not common at the moment for console games to have this, but in the future it will probably become more common as they're pushing crossplay more and more. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will release on November the 13th. <laughs> 